So we've uh, come to the end of week 15. And yes, I remembered my camera this time, but I forgot the clip on mic. So I'm using the onboard mic of the camera. So hopefully this all comes out. Um, I will try and boost it uh, during the editing process. So fingers crossed uh, uh, you can hear me. So as I said, we're coming to the end of week 15 and uh, tomorrow is weigh-in day and I'm now getting very close to hitting my goal of 40 pounds. Uh, to be honest with you, I've, uh, I've gotten here a lot quicker than I thought I would. Uh, I've got to lose, I think it's uh, around five pounds from memory. And uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's happened a lot quicker. Uh, not that this is going to be the end of the journey. Um, I'm already thinking what I'm going to do after I've hit this goal. And uh, I will update you once I've hit, this, hit the goal, which hopefully will be in the next week or so. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So this week, uh, it's been been a fairly good week eating wise. Um, although it was my son's uh, birthday on Monday, and we had family around on Saturday, and then also did a bit of a celebration on the Monday. Uh, so cake was definitely eaten. Uh, so we'll see. The loss might not be as much. Might be the same. I'm just not too sure on that, but overall I'm feeling really good. So I'm not too worried. As I said, I'm way ahead of, of schedule, uh, you know, faster than I thought I would. So if it takes me an extra week or so, uh, I'm not too, too worried about that. I have been going on walks. Uh, this is my third walk this week. I did Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, and I did walk over the weekend as well. So I'm definitely getting those walks in. And yeah, it's starting to get to that point now where I do need to look at new clothes because the other ones just look a bit ridiculously or ridiculous on me um, now. But the weather's still not playing ball at the moment it is starting to warm up a little bit but uh, it's still not uh, shorts weather well, now we've hit May now so I'm hoping it's definitely going to warm up I have been able to wear t-shirts and you know wear the, the size I was many years ago so that that's been a, a plus and when I've done that people have definitely seen the difference you know when I'm wearing coats and stuff like that it definitely hides uh, the weight, the weight loss a bit. So, uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's getting to that stage now where I will have to look at that and start clearing out my wardrobe. It's just not yet. Uh, I do really want to just wait until the weather is a bit better, but also, you know, I still plan to lose a bit more. So I don't want to invest too much yet in new clothes. Eating wise, as I said, it's been good. Been following the calorie count again. I hope you enjoyed the video last week where I went through what I typically eat. And yeah, during the week, I do tend to eat, the, you know, the same breakfast, the same lunches. Uh, I typically have the same breakfast on the weekend as well but uh, lunches might differ a little bit and I know my wife said that she couldn't do what I'm doing with regards to, to food because it's just the same thing all the time and she'd find that boring and to be honest with you I enjoy it and it's just another decision that I don't have to make now I could do a comparison but you've most probably read about uh, Steve Jobs 
and Mark Zuckerberg, they literally wear the same thing every day. Steve Jobs used to wear the black shirt on that. The trainers. Mark Zuckerberg wears a grey t-shirt, jeans and trainers. And the reason they give is they've got so many other decisions to make during the day and deciding what to wear is not one that they want to make. So they just have the same thing in the wardrobe and it just takes out just another decision that they need to do. Now I'm not comparing myself to them, but for me having that, that same breakfast, that same lunch, I know what the calories are in there. I enjoy it. And it's just another decision that I don't need to, to make. Especially, you know, when you've got uh, other things to do, work, family, and also working out what you can eat um, or what you want to eat for dinner, etc. Just taking out some of those decisions really does help. And, you know, it, it allows you to keep on track as well. Dinner wise, again, we now eating on. Uh, some of the food that we've already cooked in the bulk cooking that we did. Sorry about that, I uh, ran out of memory on the camera so I had to quickly delete a few uh, so I could carry on with this video. So I can't remember exactly where it stopped but I think I was going on about uh, you know, eating the same thing. So I think I do, you know, I would urge you to look at that. I know it can be a bit boring sometimes so you, you know, you can switch it out a little bit but not having those extra decisions to make will help you stay on track so as I said tomorrow is weigh-in day we'll see what uh, that brings and I've already been thinking about what I want to do afterwards I think I still got some more weight to, to lose so I probably will carry on losing a little bit more but the one thing that I will concentrate on a lot more now as well is doing those res resistance band uh, workouts it's something I haven't done properly in the last few weeks and now that I've, I, I have lost um, the majority of the weight for this ch challenge um, I can definitely see that there are areas that I do need to tone up so that is going to be uh, a big focus going forward and will probably form part of my next goal uh, that I will uh, look to do. Um, and once I've, as I said, as I've complete this challenge, um, I will update you what the next part of this journey is going to be. And as I said, this is going to be a journey. It's not going to be a one-off. So uh, there will be other types of updates going forward, but uh, there'll be more on that in the near future. So fingers crossed for a good way in tomorrow. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.